and welcome back to the In Conversation Couch. Joined today by Dave Scammon. Hi, mate. Me of Fat Metico Madrid fame. Yeah. Vice Captain. Vice oh, sorry, sorry. Vice Captain. Don't vice, forget that. Are you Vice Captain? <laughs> you do something at the centre as well, do not you? Don't you tell yeah. us about that? I uh, run all the leagues and um, help champ away run this place as well. Um, brilliant place to work for. Can't fault it. Um, brilliant bosses to work for, Reese Squirrel and Al. And yeah, that's that. those people. Shade day to them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as I've been working here now since September 2012. Champs has obviously been here since November 2009, I believe. And oh, we've wow. got such a strong chemistry with each other. We've been best mates for years now. And uh, it's always worked well, Daniel. You? And I'm so delighted that Mandy Fat chose this place. It's a brilliant place to come. It's a brilliant place to come. I've been to a few venues, and I say a few like every four. But there's a real there's a real community about this place that really sits in well with with what it is to be in, in the Manby Fat League. What what would obviously yourself running the place? What's your been your experience in Manby Fat so far? It's coming from that perspective, but also as a player, which I know that, that you're oh, second to none, mate. This oh, I can praise what Stan and yourself and others who well based Stan and yourself. How they run this league and how the community comes together is it's brilliant. I can't fault it. With um, obviously Stan yourself, you've been obviously playing in the Manby Fat Leagues for how long now? 2018, I think, was my first first league in Cardiff. Yeah, Cardiff. And obviously right. you've been there since day one with Stan. Obviously when you joined up and you you would tell yourself, mate, how good this place and how good the league is run. Obviously, your second hand man to stand with Alex, and he's, uh, a, third man. he's a third. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the best looking, by the way. He's not the best looking Batman. <laughs> Matt Cronin is. <laughs> that's a that's a show. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. But like I said, mate, the community of this place is absolute class. Fair play to them. Everyone gets along. There's no arguments. There's no fighting or anything like that. It's just one big happy family. We call ourselves Big One Family, which don't make sense by the way, on his interviewing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I can't fault it. Anyone who's struggling with weight, confidence, um, anything to do with mental health or anything, this program will 100% help you out. Guarantee you. And like I said, the boys down here are magnificent. Fair play to them. They will help you. They will go out their own way to help you out. And it's all about having fun on a Friday night and doing some weight. Fantastic. Couldn't have said it better. I'm not going to try to. But what I want to talk about now is your your experience we've talked about, but goals. Did you have any goals particularly in mind when you started off with the programme? So we can right at the beginning now. Right. Um, when I first weighed myself, I was absolutely astonished how heavy I was. And um, Had you not, did you not regularly No, weigh? I didn't regularly weigh myself. I was too scared, really, too, to see a, a big the dial would go up. So <laughs> I don't always stay away from that part. But um, I was just looking at all photos of myself and my kids and stuff like that. I just want to get out on the park, run around with them, not be out of breath after five minutes. I want to be better for them, um, live longer being fit, so I can see my son grow up, my daughter grow up, and hopefully, and then both get married and have kids. So that's the main goal, just to be healthy for myself and make them see, wow, I'm proud of my dad. Basically, that, that is it really, but obviously I've, I've seen old photos, like I said, I've seen my birdie on my photo and I thought, that's embarrassing, that is, and I had to do something about it. <laughs> Especially when this programme came across, I thought, this is what I've got to do straight away. Bit of a kickstart. Oh yeah, massively. Like I said, when you go on Facebook, you see memories and stuff like that, old photos of yourself, I thought, really, am I that big? I gotta do something about that. Show me. Yeah, it's quite embarrassing when you do look at your memories and stuff like that, see how big you are. But I'm doing something about it now, and I'm getting better and better every week with my weight loss, and it's showing. I'm getting loads of compliments off people and stuff like that. And it's really proud of when someone says, "Oh, Scan, you look like you lost a lot of weight," and I'm thinking, "That's what it's made for." 
for sure. That's what it's made for. I'll tell you what I used to do. I used to hold back some of my big shirts for when I was not feeling so great one day. I would wear one of the bigger shirts yeah. to try and attract compliments from people because I just got a real buzz off of it. And I think I think you do. I think it's something that oh, you get the biggest grin from me when someone says to you like, "Oh, scam, Billy, you look like you've lost a lot of weight." And you feel like. That's what I'm aiming for. You can measure success. That oh way. yeah, absolutely. So uh, talking about the, we talked a lot about the program already. Can you pinpoint a moment for you that's been, that, that, that can summarize really how, how great an experience that you're having? Um, obviously I'm vice captain of the White Fat Athletic in Madrid. Um, when I had fir my first meeting with uh, Stand Out here, and obviously said the program with Manby Fat coming down here, um, when I signed up for it and he put me into the Whites team, um, as soon as I went into the White team I was opened with Welcome Man, off James Dacey, um, Kev unfortunately is gone, which is sad to see, uh, Matty Orr, my captain, uh, Matt Lane who was in the group he hadn't played yet due to serious bad injuries and oh, health issues, stuff like that, which I hope he gets better, better for it. Um, like I said, this so, so well when you were around. Open arms. Um, they just want the best for you. What well, you can do every week, if you put on weight, they just say, "Look, you mate, just go again." And that's that's the benefit of this this program. If you put on weight, it's not the end of the world. But try and do better next week. But um, people like James Stacey, um, Matt Yor, fair play to him. Every week, constant losing weight, and such nice guys. And it's not just them; it's every other team as well. They always ask, as soon as they go past, oh, did you get on a scan? Oh, lost 1.4 this week. Oh, well done, mate. Then you ask the question back to him, and he goes, and that's just a great feeling. Or, oh, I think it's 80 of us now. Yeah, 82. 82, I can't feel enough. And Stan wants me to get more, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, when everyone knows his weight, it's just a great feeling. You see the buzz around the police. It's a real unique community, isn't it? Oh, for, yeah, for absolutely. You can't fault this. Second to none, mate, fair play. Like when someone hits five percent, if they're against us and they score out trick, it don't really bother me. What bothers me is if they lose weight, it's great. It's great to see. I'm the first one to bump fist them. If they do it at score out trick past me, it means I gotta score another three goals. <laughs> but fair play to me. It's it's not about the football, it's about the weight loss and then really. That's all it is about. The football is the fun part of Friday night. So most people watching this, in fact probably everyone, have seen you play football before and we all know exactly what you're capable of when playing football. Have you seen an improvement in what was quite frankly a shocking ability at the beginning <laughs> of the program? Do you think you've got a bit better? Oh, of course, definitely. My, <laughs> my fitness is ten times better for what I used to be. Um, my football ability, yeah. I and I'm just slightly better than Rob Taylor now, so that's a massive improvement. <laughs> it's a huge improvement, that. For sure. But, um, yeah, my fitness is set into none. Like, every day I play Dania, really, but after one session, my legs were eight, but nay, I can go three or four games a day now, and my legs would only just start aching in instead of one game, but my fitness has gone much higher now. Talk about measurements of success. Like, do people often measure themselves or weigh themselves, and that's how they measure success? But you've already talked today about people complimenting you, and also actually physically seeing differences and being able to run for longer, play for longer, and that's just as important as well. Yeah. Catching yourself in the mirror. I think people can often forget that you can measure success in many, many different ways. Yeah. So tell me, just before we finish, the I was apprehensive about putting this one in. What's the funniest thing anyone's ever said to you on a football pitch? Oh, Jesus, there's been so many. <laughs> there has been so many. Well, obviously, I was a big guy. I've got, I've got really quick feet for a big guy. Um, when I come yeah, up against 11 side right. teams, oh, he's not going to do anything. Look at the size of him. Then they shot. If I go skip past and put a put a shot in the top corner, and they're like, "Don't judge the book by his cover." <laughs> and that's when I just laugh and stuff like that. But um, there's been so many to go on because I've, like I said, I play every day. Um, I'd have to go with that. It goes, "Oh, that fat guy's not going to do anything. Look at the size of me, but he can't even run." And obviously, they come up against me, skip past them, and put one in the bottom corner, or top corner, anything like that. But 
I don't get that no, no more uh, often, eh? So yeah, I'll take that. Hide behind anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we've really spoken an awful lot about everything, you've given a, a glowing reference to the program for sure. If someone was speaking to you and they said, oh, "Scan, I'm just not really sure about memory fat. I don't know if it'll be for me." What would you say to to that person? Um, it's quite difficult part on that really because obviously like with the mental health and stuff going through obviously we've been co through covid and stuff like that obviously people are going to be stuck in their shell um i know a lot of people who's um suffered with mental illnesses a lot of them actually on this program and you see them come out of their shell which is really really good to see like um i got one on my side called scott um wouldn't say really anything to anyone not even his own teammates and um, him coming to this program, he's come out, he says, hello, how, how are you and stuff like that, how you going on with your way in? He's, he's really come out of the show, which is nice to see. So if you're struggling with mental illnesses or you think you can't cope because you're too big, trust me, this doesn't, football doesn't matter on that part. It's the weighing skills that matter to you. If you put on, like I said, just go again next week. And trust me, when, when Stan says to you, well done, you've lost, I don't know, 2.2 kilo, you will have the biggest grin on your face ever. Sure. I do every week when he tells me to lose. I, <laughs> I said to myself, my, oh, don't put on, just always keep losing. And the one week when Stan said to me, you haven't lost or you haven't gained, I was distraught. But other people will take that a different way. But I make sure I lose every week. But like I said, you're not going to lose every week. Don't get too harsh yourself. Please join this program because it will help you in the long run for your health, for your family and for everything because you will come out your shell one day. Scan, thank you very much. You're welcome mate. See you Friday. See you soon.